7 News at 10. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 10. I'm Tara Bates. After a TikTok video from a Comanche Business Committee meeting went viral, 7 News spoke with the city of Lawton about dumping in East Cache Creek. Officials with the Comanche Nation are now speaking out on that issue. 7 News investigative reporter Seth Marsicano spoke with people from the Comanche Environmental Department and a homeowner about the tests they've run and what they hope comes from the results. Seth? Tara, as you can see from the picture behind me, there's a stark difference in the water in Sultan Park and East Cache Creek. The Comanche Nation's Environmental Department took this aerial photo. It shows the water in East Cache Creek is absolutely black. Officials from Comanche Nation say there isn't any actual proof the city is dumping raw sewage into Nine Mile Creek. However, that's the water making its way into East Cache. They do say the discharge from the wastewater treatment plant is one of the main reasons the recommended E. coli count has more than quadrupled. Whenever we first opened an investigation, um, we did see pictures and it was it was mind boggling. I, it's one of those things where you just have to see it to believe it, which is why we chose the site where the confluence is. A confluence is the point in which two rivers meet. In this case, it's the merging of East Cache Creek and Nine Mile Creek which is where the city of Lawton is discharging. And this all takes place in Brian Hart's backyard. Everybody's concerned with it. Um, not only is it unsightly, um, the smell's terrible, and we really don't know what's going on with the aquatic life and with the wildlife in the area. And of course, nobody wants to put their livestock and let them drink from a gray, dark water. Um, it just looks totally unhealthy. Hart is a Comanche Nation citizen and says he's the one who got the Comanche Nation Environmental Department involved after noticing the changes over the past year. I can go a quarter mile west and see what the creek is supposed to be flowing like and then I see what's actually coming in where it dumps into and uh, it's a shame to see it. So for the Comanche Nation's investigation, they took two samples, one upstream before the two creeks merge and another farther down the stream. So you can see what uh, the discharge is adding into the natural habitat. Lindsay says East Cache Creek runs into their sacred powwow grounds in Sultan Park and it's important to continuously monitor its condition to make sure it's safe. And according to the Lindsay's test results of the E. coli levels, the sample taken upstream measures 108, and the sample taken downstream read 2,420. But how does this increase pose a risk? It could contaminate, uh, you know, your, your just everything in the e ecosystem. Uh, it could throw it off, uh, you know, people swimming in it. Um, could possibly get coli poisoning, um, you know, that, and that's very dangerous. Both officials say they've been in contact with the Department of Environmental Quality and will continue to monitor the site and hope to work together with the city to bring everything back to a healthy level. It's important to add that the E. coli levels are, aren't the only thing that can change the color in both of those creeks. The Environmental Department invites anyone with questions or concerns to either contact the Comanche Nation offices of environmental or reach out to the Oklahoma Department of Environmental Quality. Reporting for 7 News, I'm Seth Marsicano.